good morning from my bed and from Japan. <laughs> I would just take this video in Slovak. But it's only 5 million people plus 10 million Czech people who can understand Slovak perfectly. But most of my friends don't understand Slovak. So yeah, let me do it again in English version as well. And today is the last day yay, of my 13 days fasting. I was only drinking water and drinking non-caffeine, non-caloric tea as well, a little bit. Uh, it feels amazing. I would like to push 14 days and there will be probably no difference, but I'm traveling. So I need to start with uh, refeeding already because of the travel. And people who are doing fast know how extremely important the refeeding process is. Uh, actually, it can be fatal if you do it wrongly, if you don't do it correctly. I was talking about it in one of my videos when I was doing the shorter, the five days post, uh, five days fast. Why is it so important uh, to eat slowly and just in small amount, etc. And uh, actually there are cases of people who were dying, that were eating all of a sudden too much, too quickly. So you need to be very, very careful with the feeding. Sometimes it's more important than the, the, eat, the fasting process. And also your body was breaking down everything through the fasting, especially when it's long, longer than 10 days, but even shorter. So now everything is going to be rebuilt again, new cells, new proteins, etc. So you have to do it with good quality building material. So, in this video, I will show you how to do a uh, refeeding in Japanese style, Japanese way, how Japanese used to do refeeding. Enjoy! I'm going to stay in bed just a little bit, just a little bit. So, kiridaikun is great as the first food after the fast because it detoxifies the body and it also removes all the rest that stayed in the stomach or intestines also during the fast. The three basic ingredients that we need for sukkiri daikon are first white Japanese radish daikon. The taste isn't as sharp as the red radish. It's a little bit softer and I think it feels a little bit more juicy as well. Next ingredients is kombu, which is type of Japanese seaweed or kelp, and it gives the food a typical umami taste. And the last one is umeboshi, which is Japanese salted piplet plum. But actually, ume is not really plum, it's something between apricot and plum, but it's usually called plum, umeboshi. On the kelp there may be rest of sand from the sea a little bit, so it's recommended to wipe it. To take it out. Next you simply put the kelp into the water to boil it. Then next you just simply peel the daikon.
and then cut it into small pieces. Next, put a daikon to water to boil together with a kombu. And next, let the soup boil till the daikon is soft and uh, keep it rather a little bit weaker, not too strong. And then make umeboshi into small pieces. Mashi, mash umeboshi. I also keep the seed because it has also the extract on it. Yes, my first food after 13 days, yes! So, as I said, the process of refeeding is not necessary only because it can be fatal if you don't do it correctly, but also during the fasting, all the unnecessary, old, maybe sick cells, proteins were broken down, uh, eliminated from the body, and now the body is going to rebuild so we need a very good quality building material, right? So let's start with tsukiri daikon. The refeeding process is very, very slow. And so is the tsukiri daikon eating. So first what you do, uh, you drink a cup of warm water, but because I don't like warm water, I do peppermint tea, warm peppermint tea, which is actually very, very good for stomach and for digestion. Look at that. Oh my god, that tastes good. <gasps> mm. And what do you do next? You take a little bit of the soup from the soup kiri daikon. It's a little bit yellowish. You can see. And then you put a sukri, uh, <laughs> you put a umeboshi in it. I'm full of sukri, my head is full of sukri. You put a little bit of umeboshi, it's very important uh, because of the electrolytes, renewal, potassium, everything that was depleted in the body. Just a little bit. You mix it. And then drink it very very slowly oh my gosh oh, this is heaven <laughs> I didn't remember food was this heaven <laughs> wow it's good it's good okay next what do you do next? Don't jump here, please. Here, wash your son. And then, into the soup, and you drink it up. You finally go with the first solid food after the long time and put the daikon. Now we are daikon. Into the soup. And we are going to eat it, chew it very very slowly <laughs> mama i'm so sorry to be so emotional but it tastes so good <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> it tastes good <gasps> and when you're finished then you actually repeat this process like three, four times very slow. You drink the water, in my case it's tea, then you drink again the umeboshi soup, just a little bit, and then you go with chewing of the daiko. And you repeat it very slowly again and again and again. So let me do it now. Yeah, 
Food is good. I almost forgot how good food was. 